Give me the axe. I knew I shouldn't have fucking given him the axe, bro. Punch him. What do I do? What do I do? Mm. Damn. Give me the fucking shit. Of course you missed, bro. The game series adapts to the choices you make. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Walking Dead game. We finished the first episode in the last part. Now we in this new shit. We in this new place. The fucking motel shit. What the fuck we doing here? Oh, we sneaking up on them. Three months later. Oh, so we got a time jump. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. Yeah, this dude seems kind of chill, you know, not Kenny's been lie. talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Well, I'm not leaving with... He's got a I'm not leaving without out Kenny, for. bro. Kenny's the home. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, bitch. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, uh -huh. but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a Hell walking Hell yeah, bro. He driver. knocked the fuck out of I know I wouldn't both of us, bro. Room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Hell yeah. He Knock me flat. You knocked out Kenny too. Ah! Oh shit. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. No, that better not be the homie Kenny. That better not be Kenny. Ah! Kenny. Well, that ain't Kenny. What the fuck is this? This dumbass got caught in a bear Jesus trap? Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Oh shit. Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, Yo, he's making maybe they can help. These might be the same noise. guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. Bro, we're not a threat to you. We're not Can't doing shit. Chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Exactly. Please, fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just <laughs> see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Was he been? bitten? No, I swear. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Yo, yeah, we're about to get fucking jumped. Trying to be a good Samaritan, uh, bro. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Yeah. Kenny, keep those walkers I'm off of me. I'm about to chop his leg off. I'm about to chop his leg off. It's the only way, my boy. We're gonna have to catch you. Lee, no, 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 no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. This is what your dumb ass get. Look at the floor next time. Damn. Damn, you couldn't do it in one swing, Lee. You gonna make it take? You gonna make it take four? They gonna take four hits? Damn, you overdid that. I ain't gonna lie. You could have cut a little bit lower. Shit. Is he? He passed out. He about to die. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Bro, we did enough, bro. Now we gotta take him with us. He about to bleed Behind out you. anyways. Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Yo, your dad was special forces. Hit a move or something. Oh, he's gone. 
there. That's not even our problem, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here. That is not our problem. He said his dad was special forces, right? He should know what to do. Yo, don't shoot. She about to shoot us. Don't fucking shoot. It's open. us. Don't We've shoot, got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? What are we doing, bro? Come on. Come oh on. God. Like, this is really not our problem. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. Ain't she a vet? What the hell? You can't just be bringing in him? people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. This dude is about to die. We left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling ah, you survivor died if we, we come across. You, bitch. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? You're not um, the leader, bro. No? Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Oh God, bro. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but exactly. we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's Kenny's running out, right. suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You no, weren't you're there. Not. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, I'm always the one that gotta make a damn choice. Once catches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. She is right on that, I don't though. see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you uh, combined. Shut your old Dad, ass up. Please. Nobody asks to hear Why you speak. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Exactly. Get your bitch ass out of here. Old ass motherfucker. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. This is no, dinner? No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You Yo, see how it feels not to not tell me what to do, for everyone. Bro. You only have four items for ten hungry people. This is dinner? Oh, you already know I gotta feed, um... I gotta feed Clementine. That old ass motherfucker ain't eating. He better not even look at the food, bruh. And I, I might have to give my boy Kenny something. Uh, Clementine, dinner's How ready. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Oh, well, I just Can realized you she don't got her it? hat. Sure. sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I, I just realized she ain't got if no I fucking find hat. It, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I mean, it's only right if I give the little kids food, bro. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Ooh, what I'm gonna give her? I'm gonna give her the apple. I love apples. Oh Thank my! Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Fucking home run. Mm. Enjoy it. 
You deserve it. Kiddo, you're about to be the only one that's about to eat, bro. Hey, Doc. I'm giving him my son a little food. Yo, yo, Sorry. after that look, you're not getting nothing, bro. Never mind, bro. I'm going to give it to my girl, Carly. To I'm going to give her that meat. Here. And I'm going to give her more meat you? later tonight. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Yo, you think you're stronger than me? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Oh, she feel guilty. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna give it hey, a duck then. How about a little food? Like, I try to give you some food. Yo, yo. Here. Fuck it, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna just give it to oh, him. Man, but that I'm face so is pissing hungry. me off. Alright, and I'm gonna give it to my to my son Kenny here. He a real one. Like, I know I know Lily and her dad ain't expecting me to feed him. Here, Kenny. They almost fucking killed me. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Hell yeah, I'm a feed Kenny. What do I got? Mmm, who's left? They got Lily. Hell no, not Larry. Man, I'm eating this shit. Bro. Keep my up Carly too. don't want it, so I'm gonna eat it. That really wasn't that hard. Not such an easy job, is it? I'm sorry, but I don't know you like that, bro. You seem like a chill dude. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? Yo ass ain't getting There's no food. Left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Oh, watch, You're one bro. To talk, old man. Exactly. Yeah, you are one well, to I talk. Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Yo, I should just get back to work. Yo, one day, bro. I'm gonna catch his ass slipping. Watch. Mm. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but yeah, but I don't really... nothing. She's making the smart choice. Those parasites Yo, you guys like, brought back need to go. Who the hell was even talking to you, though? Need I'm leaving this. I don't want his ass nope. to butt in no more. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, sure. give us that thing for a bit. Yo, he. I just realized he's lucky Kenny took the axe from me in the last episode. Because after he knocked me out, I would have chopped that motherfucker's head off, Hey, I'm the one off, doing bro. all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Fuck no. Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. All right, now throw God his ass out of here. I'm getting sick now of this throw shit. Throw out, too. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, we should have left him. Problem anymore. He should have never what been our problem in the first place. Yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! They say he wasn't bitten. They said his ass wasn't bitten. Give me the axe. I knew I shouldn't have fucking given the axe, bro. Punch him. What do I do? What do I do? Mm. Damn. Move, move. Give me the fucking shit. Of course you missed, bro. Back the fuck up. Punch him. Kick him. I'm about to get bit, bro. <laughs> Where's the help, bro? Where the fuck is the help? Damn. This, bro. Carly done saved my life 13 times, bro. You okay? Yeah. Ain't nobody Thanks. else wants to help me. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get about to have us another all heart killed. Attack. You said he wasn't bitten. What? 
We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Try to Wait, kill me. Don't know. What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Oh, it's like the show. You come back no matter how you die. It's if like you don't the destroy show. the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. But how the fuck does something I, like that even all happen? All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! What the fuck? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! We ain't got nothing Harley. for you, bro. Are you armed? Yeah. We don't got nothing for you. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. We do. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Ooh. Generators provide the electricity. Look Our generators run on gas. Shit. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all yeah, doing on food? That don't sound too bad. We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, Yo, that don't actually seem that bad, bro. You got going. a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes starving, from there, bro. We need that shit. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So the way we just hit the jackpot really like this. Food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. They grow their own shit. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Oh, Personally, God. I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. It already feels like I'm in charge. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Every fucking Everybody decision I gotta to make. Well, not everyone thinks like I'm they so ask me if we want to go to the fucking because farm. of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have nah, to. Whatever shouldn't. happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I'm from Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's in what the I heart like of to Georgia. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Here we go, bruh. We work as a group. Why All does everybody care so much who the leader is? I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many exactly. people you got over there anyway? Nah, see that? Well, the kids are they don't need to know. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all that out was to a the suspicious dairy. Like question. I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? What the fuck? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Haven't 
Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Some shit's about to go down. Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh shit! Yo, he's making mad noise. Jesus. Out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Yo, I don't know about this shit, bro. These fucking bandits they're talking about. I don't know if I like that. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Ooh, that should look nice, bro. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. I'm gonna assume that's a lot. Who the fuck is that? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this down is our drive. mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. What a food He's at? from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Here we go, bro. We, we work, work together, together bro. There's no got damn plenty leader. Of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest Why place. Is that everyone's now first that question? Y'all are here. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're all for food at. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Ooh. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can Yo, help you, you didn't have out. to say all that. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Yo, this just sounds fucking nice. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. You should see her aim. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. I'll see you later, babe. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. A big you can learn help. a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. It so just how do you might. Play this? We got to be we safe can think though. about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out you if this place is as safe outside? as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Exactly. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. St. John. St. John Dairy. All right, y'all, so I'm going to end the episode right there. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see more. And, uh, yeah, peace out.